me because it's like when you do respond with kindness and you respond with like a good answer, they come back even more upset. You know, so I, some of them don't. Some of them mm -hmm. come back with "thank you." I was having a bad day. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I've responded to somebody who like they were like, "Oh, that guy Andrew's boring." And I was like, "Hey, dude, my bad. Like I'm, I'm working on it. You know, mm -hmm. this is still new to me. I'm trying." And he's like, "Oh shit, dude, you're actually pretty cool. All right, never mind." There you go. <laughs> so it, was, it was pretty. You yeah. know, it was just funny. But yeah, for the most part, it's just like, I don't know, man. Like it's just, we're it's just the internet, like. Go. It's a tractor beam. Yeah, go you for it. You get sucked into it very quickly. Yeah. Because somebody flashes their butt or their boobs or the car <laughs> or a palm tree. And it's like, oh, I want to have that life. Mm -hmm. So right. that guy drove three hours and hired $2,000 worth of camera work <laughs> to film him getting out of his car slow motion, walking into the gym, clapping chalk powder and lifting, mm -hmm. you know, three or four plates. And the video is over. It's like, how in the hell does that motivate you? <laughs> <All right. laughs> that guy just spent his whole day doing 30 seconds of nothing. <laughs> Yeah, and then, and, then, and then even like uh, today's live streams and in the chat room, it, it happens almost every podcast. Somebody will come in, and the, you can tell what they're getting at because they'll come in and they'll they'll uh, send a bunch of comments right away, like back to back to back to back. Mm, so you'll see them, and it'll always come back to, well, these guys are just on all of the steroids. Mm -hmm. So no matter what they're talking about, I love it, talking about steroids. What is he asking? Just saying that basically you're big because you're on gear. And I mean, I'm this all, is my 38th year being big. Yeah, and <laughs> I haven't so, been on gear for 38 years. So my, my response to him was like, "Well, do you think that's cheating?" Because uh -huh. I kind of like stirring the pot a little bit. Oh yeah. boy, the truth um, comes out. But he didn't say anything. Well, so, so here's the thing: I want to talk about. Let's talk about steroids, can we? Yeah, yes. I love talking about steroids. Hey. So when people ask me if I'm on gear, I, I say no, I'm not. I'm on testosterone replacement therapy. I take one shot of testosterone every seven to ten days, if I can remember. Okay. I was a farm boy. I grew up hauling hay, splitting wood, building fences, picking up tractor rear ends. You know, it's a lot of hard work. So I was already strong beforehand. Mm -hmm. When I was competing, of course I took a gear. I took a lot of gear. More than some probably would have killed me if I wasn't in the shape that I was in. But then when I stopped competing in 02, I stopped taking gear, period, altogether. I didn't take an aspirin after that because mm. I knew that it was very toxic to my body if I wasn't going to use it. But when I started getting hired by these companies to represent supplement lines, all these pro bodybuilders were still huge and i was you know drying up and getting skinny and weak i was like eh, i'll jump back on the gear so i did and then i figured out okay i'm not going to take as much gear as i was taking when i was competing but keep in mind i was still just as strong and just as big i was probably only supposed to be 190 pounds when i was a kid but because i are and when i grow up but because i took so much gear and i changed my set points and i changed my body through progressive overload for years, I just became a bigger person. And when I was off the gear, I never got below 260. Mm. That Whew. was gear free for like six years. Damn. And then when I got back on it, I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I'm thinking, why in the hell am I gonna do this to my body? So I went to the doctor, almost 50 years old. He's like, hey, you don't need to take all that. Here, let's look at your blood work. Let's see where you're deficient. Let's see what's going on. I checked it out. He said, hey, you're kind of low, but you know, we can give you this and get you back on you know, your wheels. So yes, I take steroids. I'll say yes every day. I, it's not a big deal. I've been prescribed it, and it helps me. And, yeah, I'm stronger because of it because I recover quicker. And I do all the proper things that you're supposed to do while you're training, cryotherapy, foam rolling, you know, stretching, all that stuff, eating, nutrition, supplementation, sleeping, hydration. So, yeah, mm -hmm. thanks for the question, buddy. It's kind <laughs> of an interesting thing because, you know, what I usually a lot of times I'll say to people is it's an option for everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, so <laughs> – and I'm not like, I don't feel that I'm using it because I'm not, even when you compete in powerlifting, I mean, there's, there's <clears throat> drug tested federations and mm -hmm. there's non drug tested federations. Uh, I never took steroids and competed in a uh, drug tested federation. I never sure. tried to pass myself off as mm -hmm. being natural. And then in addition to that, when I did bodybuilding, it was the same thing. You can choose natural bodybuilding where they right. run some tests. And uh, that's where I think things get a little bit weird. Yes. But, taking some anabolics is it's an option for everybody like how like somebody who says i really want to get bigger mm -hmm. well how much bigger do you want to get because mm -hmm. maybe that's different for you and maybe that's different for me and maybe it's different for him and then also like what are your genetics you know maybe you'll run into a wall and maybe you'll feel that you need to take something to give you a little extra boost, sure you know and that's really really all everyone's trying to do is just you know and I, when I always look at these comments and i i think about how people are reacting to stuff and I think about my reasons on why I've used anabolics for the last 20 years or whatever it's been. Uh, 
the main reason is I'm just trying to do the best I can, just yeah. like everybody else. Yeah, absolutely. Like you're trying to do the best you can at your job. You're trying to do the best you can as a husband. You're trying to do the best you can as uh, whatever the hell it is that you're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to do the best I can. And because of that, it's my belief that that helps me do the best I can. Mm -hmm. Why not put a little high octane fuel in your car, buddy? Yeah. Makes you run better. As right. long as you're not hurting yourself. I'm not trying yeah. to compete in anything natural. As long, so. as long <laughs> exactly. <laughs> as long as you're not hurting yourself, as long as you're not promoting it to hurt someone else, then why not? You know, right. hey, do what you're gonna do. Do what you got to do. You're in charge of your body. You know, you're not gonna make me feel bad about myself because I feel good about myself. Yeah, and I'll also never lie about. I mean, they do make a difference. Yeah, they do. They make a great. They make a huge. A phenomenal difference. recovery period. Um, but the difference that they make doesn't stack on top of itself. So. You know, you've been using them uh, for a long time. I've been using them for a long time. It might make you a little bit better, mm -hmm. but it doesn't make you a little bit better all the time. I don't know if that's making sense. It doesn't mm -hmm. accumulate. Right. So whatever this 5%, let's just say, let's say it makes, let's say it helps you. Let's say it helps increase body size. We'll just say uh, by 20%. Mm -hmm. You get the 20% once. And that's it. You said you increased your set point, mm -hmm. but you kind of did it once. Mm -hmm. you, you have a new set point, but you don't continuously... You're not 300 pounds and ripped, right, right? Right. You don't continuously have a new set point, so. Right. Um, and you can take a lot of stuff, and then you can start getting into like growth mm -hmm. hormone and insulin. And you can maybe change the set points a few times, but the card that you play when you take anabolic steroids is it just levels you up just one time, and that's it. Sure, it's like when people say I'm getting stronger by the day, or you know I'm increasing, et cetera, et cetera. If that were true, we'd all be bench pressing 3,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you just can't get that much better. You can get a little better but not that much better. And when people say they're not, they're only there because of this and this, you got to think about everything that goes into it before this. Right. All the time that you've slept, all the time that you've ate, all the food that you've cut out, all the food that you've added, all the cardio, all the grueling hours at the gym. And there's some people that don't train that hard and just have great genetics, but there is a lot of other people that do put hours and hours and hours of their life into the gym. And that's what happens. You get results. Right. You and if you don't the have the dedication, then you don't, I don't think you have any business taking steroids. Exactly. You know, no. make sure that dedication is locked in first. I agree. It's the, not the a quick drug's fix. drug's not going to do that for you. Yeah. It's not going to make you more dedicated towards yeah. it. Yeah. It is a quick fix, but it can also be a long-term situation for healthy reasons as well. For all my video game nerds, think about it like you have a level cap of 100, right? Steroids get you to a level cap of 120. But if you don't do the training, you'll never get to level 120. Never. No, it, you got to put the training in. You can't just take them and not train. Yeah. Because you see those guys, they're all puffy for like three months. <laughs> they look like they swallowed a balloon, you know, and every Start part rolling of their up their sleeves. Yeah. yeah. I, I Tighter like, shirts. Yeah, I like Mark's ex explanation of the diminishing returns. That was the term that we were looking for. That, yeah, it'll you'll you'll get that 20%, but then the next time you might get, you know, whatever. Absolutely. Not even half, right? 